Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazzy. So today, I figured I would bring you guys along. I have to do so many things and I'm just hoping that the fact that I'm bringing you guys along will help me like not procrastinate at all because Dominic and I are going to be leaving very soon in a couple of days actually so I need to get crap done today so you guys are gonna be my motivation first I need to dry my hair because my hair is a hot mess right now because usually I shower at night you guys and I don't know what about you guys but like when I shower in the morning I'm all sorts of messed up for the day <laughs> like I need to blow dry my hair to feel like I'm actually prepared and it's not nighttime for me so I'm gonna do that and then I will check back in with you guys later here's to hoping that I actually get stuff done today and that I don't procrastinate the day away because I have a lot to do <laughs> before we go so I will check in with you later and yeah we'll see we'll see where I'm at in a couple of hours hey guys so it is a bit later now as you guys can see I painted my nails I painted one hand and did not paint my other hand because I'm trying to understand gel nail polish and I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys I don't <laughs> I'm trying and like I keep I keep trying the gel nail polish because this company Madame Glam who is wonderful keeps sending me gel nail polish and I just want to understand it before I actually provide you guys with details and stuff because like if I don't know how to do it how am I supposed to tell you guys how to do it so I'm just I'm trying to become a pro and it's a struggle so I did one hand this time and I said I'm just gonna try one and then I'll do the other one another day and hopefully it doesn't look too crazy but anyway also I have a link for them I'll leave them down below if you guys do like gel nail polish and you know what you're talking about when it comes to gel nail polish but until I know what I'm talking about I'm not even gonna I'm not even going to show you guys because I need to understand gel nail polish before I will be out here talking about it <laughs> like I know something about it but anyway I am just checking in with you guys because I have to clean our house and I am clearly um just prolonging that because I don't really want to do that and this morning while I was doing my gel nail polish I watched the second to last episode of The Bachelor and you guys will probably have already seen it if you watch The Bachelor you'll probably already seen the finale and I have not seen the finale I have no spoilers for the finale or anything yet but I wanted to talk to you guys about this episode because if you are familiar with The Bachelor, actually, let's just say, if you're not familiar with The Bachelor, either you can skip this part, or I will explain it, what happened, and I will tell you guys my thoughts on it. If you are familiar with The Bachelor, you will know what happened, and will just have to sit through me explaining it, <laughs> but then I will explain to you guys my thoughts on it afterwards. So, basically, what happened in this episode, Greg has been the front runner the whole time, Katie loved Greg. Katie told the cameras. Katie told everyone she loved Greg. She doesn't feel like she can tell Greg she loves Greg because there's more than one person. So out of respect for the other people that she has there, she can't tell Greg that she loves Greg, even though it's obvious she loves Greg. And she's told the cameras she loves Greg. So I don't know. Like, I get her trying to be respectful and stuff. Um, but at the same time, she's already kind of told everybody she loves Greg. So... Anyway, Greg tells Katie, I love you with all my heart, bears his soul, you complete me, you're everything to me. Katie responds and says, I like looking at your face. <laughs> or I love looking at your face. And Greg, of course, is taken aback by this situation because earlier that week he had seen her on a one-on-one -on -one date with Blake, who is another person that's in the top. And there's also Justin, who is also in the top, and everybody is confused by him. But I love Justin personally. I never did until this week. <laughs> but after seeing his parents not show up for him and, like, hearing how guarded Justin is, like, he has... I, I feel for that. I feel for him very much so. And obviously he's guarded because his parents don't show up for him. And that's what happens when your parents don't show up for you. Is that you become very guarded with your emotions. Anyway, back to the Greg situation. So Greg tells her he loves her. She doesn't respond great. He gets frustrated. He kind of lashes out. He's a little emotionally immature, immature in that situation. The world thinks that Greg is gaslighting Katie. And this is where... I'm just caught up on explaining to you guys the situation. And now for those of you who have watched the episode, and those of you who haven't, I apologize because you may not understand what I'm saying. But I don't 
don't think he was gaslighting her. I think her emotions are valid because she clearly thinks he was gaslighting her. Because she posted a thing on Instagram saying that he gaslit her. Or, like, saying gas the definition of gaslighting on Instagram. And so, I feel she thinks he was gaslighting her. So, my feelings don't matter at that point because... Or, like, other people's feelings don't matter because Katie is the one that was in the relationship and she felt like she was being gaslit. And I don't know enough details to, to say whether he was gaslighting her or not, but based off of the television show that I watched last night, let's just say it was a fictional show, I don't feel that, that Greg gaslit her during that show. I feel that the world thinks he did because Katie said she was gaslit. And so then, obviously, we're going to support Katie. We're going to support somebody that is standing up for themselves and setting a boundary and, um, you know, saying that they feel they were gaslit. But in, from my perspective, Greg was asking for what he felt he deserved. He needed, he needed emotional validation out of her response, and she wasn't giving that to him. And from, so from Greg's perspective, he saw her on this date with Blake, then he bared his soul to her, and she basically acted like he was a nobody by saying, I just like looking at your face. Now, if roles were reversed, and Greg was a female, and Katie was a male, and Greg, the female, <laughs> says to Katie, the male, I'm so in love with you. You complete me. You're the other half of me. And Katie, the male, says back to Greg, I just love looking at your face. She didn't say that, obviously. She said, I love looking at your face, is what she said. Or, I love your face, or something along those lines. We, the world would be an uproar. <laughs> the world would be so mad. Because how dare Katie the male, and, like, this is, it's hard for me because I'm very much a feminist. I know you guys can tell that. I'm very much pro, like, feminist and, like, pro, like, a lot of things that are obviously would be would side with Katie in this situation but I truly feel if Katie was a male and Greg was a female people would be saying that Greg was sticking up for himself and he deserved better than the way that Katie reacted to him expressing his love for her he deserved more than what Katie gave him is what the world would say if if there weren't the social norms of female and male and all of that jazz like I just I don't know. I know people are going to disagree with me on that. And but the thing is, is it doesn't really matter what either what any of us think. It just matters that obviously what Katie re thinks, which is that he gaslit her and there's possibly way more to the story than what I saw in my television show. But from the television show, I feel bad for Greg. I feel like he stood up for himself because he wasn't getting the emotional validation that he needed in that moment. And if I were Greg in that situation, seeing Blake having had his date with her and knowing that I just expressed to Katie that I was madly in love with her and her response, the way she responded to him looks like he's not her person. It looks, the way she responded to him makes it, make, would make me feel like, oh, shit, I'm second in line, like, I'm not it. She's not going to, I'm not going to be marrying her because she doesn't, clearly doesn't like me nearly as much as I like her. Just based off of the response that she gave him to that. And, yeah, I don't blame him. I would have been pissed, too. And now he's like, shit, I just showed her my whole world and my family and, like, I love this girl. And she is acting like there's so many other people here. I have to be concerned with other people's emotions over your emotions. And I don't know, just from my perspective, if... If she really did love him, and this is how I feel as well, I feel that Katie is going to end up with someone else because I, I genuinely don't know how much she loved him, which is fine. She doesn't have to love Greg. But I think he's right in his in his feelings because I feel like if she did love him, she would have told him she loved him because he was clearly dealing with an emotion, emotional distress and it was all over the fact that she didn't really need to tell him she loved him, but she at least needed him to, needed to give him more validation than just, I'm going to give you a rose this week, which is what it, the validation was. And so I think he just completely shut down, and I don't think that's healthy either. He clearly needs therapy. I'm not denying that. But anyway, I know... Hopefully you guys are still here because I know not everyone watches The Bachelor and I know like this is going to be very like controversial if you do watch The Bachelor and you don't agree with me but I just feel like I can see it from both perspectives like both sides and from what I watched on the show if anything it looked like Katie was gaslighting Greg saying that she didn't 
she looked like she was trying to act like she didn't understand what he was, why he was feeling the way that she was feeling. And maybe she didn't, but I don't know how she didn't understand that. Because if you were somebody and you just bared your soul to somebody and their response was nothing, like disconnected completely, which is what she seemed. I don't know. Obviously, it's a television show, so I know nothing, but... Anyway, clearly I'm heated over that today, you guys, but I really need to, um, I really need to get to cleaning. I just talked you guys' ears off about that for a while. I'm interested to hear your perspective. Please be kind to me <laughs> because I know, like, a lot of people are going to think that, a lot of people, I've seen, I've seen that a lot of people think that Greg gaslit Katie. And I just feel like, genuinely, I'm all for, like, us defending people and saying, like, like, making sure that people aren't gaslit but like there's a lot of people saying that people that think he wasn't gaslighting are delusional and I don't feel delusional I mean my if Dominic if Dominic and I were in that same situation Dominic would be the same way because he's a very emotionally guarded person and he's not gaslighting me by feeling that way like just because he's a man and he's trying to say I deserve better doesn't mean he is I don't know. I'd like to hear if you guys have watched it, like, what your feelings are on it. And if you, why you feel he's gaslighting her, if you do. Anyway, I gotta go. I gotta clean. And I will probably, actually, I'll bring you guys along. And then I will check back in with you guys after. <laughs> So you come from the east coast, I heard that it's cold there Yeah I know a place in Los Angeles, girl, we should go there Sitting on the pier, drink a couple beers, yeah, swear I never thought like this Yeah Let me be your Mick Jagger, your Hollywood A-list ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I saw you driving on Wilshire, yeah I get nervous, I'm just being honest, yeah, uh. but let's go get lost in the city, girl, it's not a problem, sitting on the pier, drink a couple beers, yeah, swear I never thought like this, yeah, let me be your Chris Hemsworth, your Hollywood A-list, Hollywood A-list, yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I saw you driving on Wilshire, yeah, She gon' come through and chill It's a lot, but I'm missing it still Yeah By the beach or down sunset It's always a thrill Hollywood dreams are better when they real She said, hold up, hold up Can you pull up, pull up I said, bring the whiskey We could pull up, pull up We could go downtown Or the bar by the beach She said, as long as we're together Then it's fine by me Yeah Got me feeling like it's one in a million Yeah Wouldn't trade it for a bag or a billion Yeah Wouldn't trade it for a house in the hills for a house in the Hamptons, or a case full of bills, yeah. Either way, she got expensive as taste. A Saint Laurent jacket just to match with the lace. Six o'clock traffic, I got nothing to do. Might as well be here driving with you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I saw you driving on Wilshire, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And now I wanna make you mine. Cause baby, in the city of angels, you're the only one that shines.
Good morning, you guys. So it is the next day now. I cleaned the house last night. I'll show you guys a little clip of the house being clean tonight. And then what is going on here, you guys? Um, I don't know what it is about having a clean house, but well, actually I do know what it is. We have this smell good stuff that we put all over the floor and like, I feel like every time we use the smell good stuff, it's because we're going out of town and so, or like we've cleaned the house. And so when, when the house is clean, we obviously feel amazing. So I think like whenever we put that smell good stuff down, it like, when I smell it, it like takes me like to good moments, all good moments. You know what I'm saying? And apparently our biggest, like our biggest not scent, what is it called? The five cents. Is that what it's called? It is a scent. Maybe, right? The five senses, uh, right? I don't know, you guys will have to tell me. <laughs> but our biggest one, I feel, or at least I've heard in the past that it's scent. So you've got sight, smell, smell. Okay, Look, you guys, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's 9.30 in the morning. This is the earliest I've woken up in a while, and I know 9.30 is pretty, is pretty late, you guys. But our biggest scent is smell and whenever like i smell something i can like it'll bring me right back to every moment that i've had with that smell like i don't know why but my nose is really crazy like that even so when i was younger in high school at, specifically i used to wear lip gloss all the time and i used to wear this it was a cinnamon flavored lip gloss and me and my friend hannah in high school used to share this lip gloss and which was weird. I don't know why we did that. We were very weird about our lip glosses. Give me a second, you guys, actually. Just give me two seconds and I'll explain more in a second. Okay, right, sorry, you guys. Dominic was, uh, he was cleaning out our car. So I'll explain what he was doing in a second. Anyway, very weird that we used to share lip gloss, but, and honestly, these days, obviously that wouldn't happen because <laughs> it's just crazy to even think that I ever shared lip gloss with somebody because of obviously the virus and now we're all out here wearing masks and stuff. But yeah, we used to share lip gloss in high school and I used to have this one that smelled like, like bold cinnamon. Like it was like, it just smelled like cinnamon and it was like really heavy cinnamon. <laughs> so now, and I specifically remember a memory when I was at a test, one of those like midterm tests or whatever. Um, and I was sitting in the auditorium, not that any of this matters really, but I was sitting in the auditorium taking this test and I applied my cinnamon lip gloss. And I remember, I just remember it so clearly, clear as day, everything about that moment. So now whenever I smell cinnamon even just like smell any type of cinnamon when Dominic cooks with cinnamon or anything it always brings me back to that day and thankfully it was a, a good memory I don't really remember it that like I don't know what happened before or after and I probably failed the test to be honest <laughs> but it was a good enough memory that like when I think about it or when I smell cinnamon like it brings me back to those moments and it, and it makes me feel good but anyway Back to the moral of the story, I was, or when I came out into the dining room today, I smelt that stuff that's on the floor and just, it made me feel so like excited because I know we're going on vacation. And like, I think it, it's just like, it's like a trigger in my brain, you know? So I'm pumped. So Dominic and I are actually, we were planning on leaving today, but we are now going to leave tomorrow instead because we want to get the car ready because we're bringing the Fiat when we go down and it's just, we just need to get it like an oil change and stuff. So that's what we're doing right now. And I'm really pumped because it's 930, which is early for me, but, and early enough that like we never get out at this time. So we are going to get Chick-fil-A breakfast. So I'm super excited about that, you guys. So I will bring you guys along for Chick-fil-A breakfast this morning. And then we're going to get Dunkin', of course. And it's just going to be a good day because I cleaned everything yesterday, at least mostly everything. So Dominic, Dominic was planning on like taking the day today to clean everything. And like he's been having a really, really horrible time at work, to be honest. And he's just been like, honestly, not doing well when it comes to work. It's just been very stressful for him. And so I wanted when Dominic 
when Dominic has those moments, like, I think Dominic's um, love language is acts of service. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's acts of service. And whenever he is, like, super stressed out at work, um, I usually try to, like, obviously cook us dinner and, like, I try to clean the house because he... Oops, go ahead, person. You're welcome. Uh, because he... That's just what it, what makes him happy. I know that it'll make him happy if I clean the house. And so I obviously didn't want him to have to clean the house and, like, get everything ready for our trip while he was off today. So I did it yesterday, and he is so happy. Oh, my gosh. Last night he was, like, over the moon about the fact that I cleaned the house. He was definitely pumped that it was clean and he didn't have to, like, deal with it or anything because we had someone coming – actually one of Dominic's friends coming to watch our cats for us while we're out of town so um I wanted to do like a little extra stuff that I normally don't do like I mopped and and I vacuumed the stairs which is like a weird thing I don't think we've ever vacuumed the stairs before okay here's where my place is and it's, yeah I can't turn that way okay I did go too far you guys um but so I did a couple of different little things that I don't normally do but that's mostly just because Dominic whenever he cleans is anybody else's husband boyfriend significant other even like this um uh, where whenever they clean like whenever Dominic we're gonna go clean he finds all of this weird stuff to do and I don't know where he where it comes from he finds like He'll dust the walls, dust the fans, like, rather than actually, like, <laughs> just cleaning, like, a normal thing, you know what I mean? Like, cleaning, like, the counters or something, he will, he will do what I did yesterday, like, mop the floor, or clean the stairwell, or, you know, like, just random things that I would never think to do, but Dominic things to do and so I wanted to do these weird things yesterday because I was like if he he will come up with something to clean if I don't do if I don't clean these things you know so that is what happened there now we are at the precision auto care I don't know where he is if he's in there or not but we are getting our car something. We're getting it something. Oil change. That's what we're doing. So I will check back in with you guys a little bit later today, probably, after we get our Chick-fil-A. And then we just both have to do a little bit of work before we are ready to head out of town. And we have to pack. I am so not prepared. And I always pack too much stuff, you guys. Okay, here he comes. So I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. <laughs> that was the healthiest thing I used to eat. The peppers and onions. Uh, it looks really good though, so. Still. Burrito. We got what is this called, babe? Chicken burrito. Uh, I mean, maybe I don't know. Chicken burrito, I believe. <laughs> chicken minis, ten chicken minis. Down with one all out, <laughs> and some hashi browns. I'm excited. Hey guys, so it is quite a bit later now. We have done so many things since I saw you last. So it is 3.30 now. I have videos uploading. I've made banana bread for Dominic's um, friend that's coming over and watching the cats for us. We also ate a little bit of it, so I'm going to show you. <laughs> we weren't planning on eating it. We were planning on just giving him this whole container, but then we smelt it, and you can't not eat banana bread when you smell banana bread. And then I wanted to show you guys the kitchen. So the kitchen is basically completely cleaned. We just have a couple of things we have to do still like we have to clean this residue off of the countertop we don't know how we're gonna do that but we're gonna have to figure that out because we tried to lay down the marble countertop you guys and we we struggled so we just pulled it all off and it looks crazy now <laughs> and then I have videos being uploaded over here we have my bag being packed right here Dominic has to pack when he gets back from walking Sunday and then Dominic cleaned the bathroom, and the bathroom looks amazing. He did a great job. So we are very excited, you guys. We have so much going on. I'm wearing my bathing suit. Did I tell you guys that already? I don't think I did. I'm wearing my bathing suit because I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this one or the other one. So that's a struggle because I have, honestly, so many. You guys have seen the haul. There's just so many that are so cute, so I'm trying to decide which one 
I should be keeping. <laughs> I know that like there's at least four that I want to keep you guys. So I can't keep all four. We do not have the finances to be keeping four bathing suits. So sorry, you guys. Hopefully you could see my face while I was saying that. But anyway, you guys, that is what's happening here. I think I'm going to let you guys go. Oh, also something else that I forgot to tell you guys. We also were, I'm just going to flip you around because I want to see you. Not that I can see you anyway, like, like I can see you now, <laughs> but also I forgot that I cut Dominic's hair as well in the past couple of hours, so that's very exciting. You guys will get to see that in our next video because I will be filming tomorrow on our drive, but I think I need to end this one now because there's probably way too much footage. <laughs> so I will see you guys in my next one. If you like this, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our next videos, and I love you so much. <laughs>